I think it's ironclad. You got to take 18 for a rare relic here. If you want. We're strong enough to get through an elite fight. Uh, if it's a good rare relic, it'll aid on us just healing the health back with our starter relic anyway. And the other options don't seem very good. Capitaine's Wheel. Captain's Wheel is pretty decent against Act 1 Elites. Current favorite character to play in Citisa. I like all of them. Always have, hopefully always will. I guess there was a time where I really didn't like Watch Air, but... Between Disarm and Reckless Charge here, not going to be taking a Shrug. And Tropic Rare is a pretty nice potion to drop. Hexagust does make me a little bit more excited about Disarm. I can take Disarm, I think. Ironclad has lots of attacks, so I'll find some sort of damage from somewhere. You also make sounds when you're stressed. Proud of you. Super proud of you. I think I don't have to play a strike for nine here with Captain's Will. I might be wrong, but... Looks like with this draw order, I'm good. Bash was even the bottom card and it was still fine. Perfected strike. That's an attack. Sure. Uh, I've done the math on an Ironclad attack potion. I think it's slightly worse than fire potion here. It's like... Definitely less consistent than the Fire Potion, which isn't really saying much of anything. Can I play any faster than light nowadays? I haven't played faster than light much for a long time. Chemokinesis over Carnage. Chemo is just a lot of damage for one energy. there's a world where fire plus attack is better than entropic plus act. Uh, fire potion and attack potion are definitely very premium potions at this point in the run. That is a real thing. Uh, blood for blood and rupture both go well with hemo. I think blood for blood's a lot more exciting though. Wait, I wish I didn't take the perfected strike, but I did. You quite the super early probably. I wanted to take damage there. Guess not. Alright, cool. Meat on the bone? Yeah. How do I fight more elites? I can't. It is upsetting. I could probably take an evolve. It's like a bit early, but yeah, it's fine. Gweenie Genie, thanks for 22 months. I 
Shuriken might be a scuppa ball there. I don't think I'm buying Palace, I think I'm buying card remove on us. Display Watcher and have the opportunity to buy Omawari on the first shop in the third act of the first half with two question marks to the first chest should you buy it. Can if you want. I don't know. I don't know what else is going on in the run. Don't we need cards to win it? So the Spire, questionable. The game's winnable without cards. It's a lot harder without cards, though. Uh, sentries should be okay with Evolve Plus. So upgrade the one that's good against Ironclad, I think. Or <laughs> Gremlin up. Is this even bad? I have meat on the bone. The potion chance is kind of low. Fire potion is kind of a good potion. It's Gotti. Good. Found some copies of Dazed. Is there a set of relics that wins with a size of zero attack? Uh, potions are generally helpful there. Uh, like Nori's Codex exists and stuff like that. Auric Calcum. Okay. Finesse Dropkick's already an in infinite. Kind of optimistic, but <laughs> like theoretically, kind of. I have a one unupgraded bash. Shrug's a lot worse with Aurichalcum. Metallicize is kind of better with Aurichalcum. I take a Metallicize here. I'm tiny metaphorically. I'm doing okay, I think. I'm like, fine. I think I have to take two here. I was right. Application potion, cool. 
There's a rupture. There's a double tap. Rupture shouldn't be a thing here. I think double tap's pretty good with Hemo and Blood for Blood, though. Drop kick. Are my modded characters complete? I haven't worked on them in a long time. So maybe. Oh, and Shuriken as well for double tap. Also relevant, I guess. I guess Finesse got a bit worse when I picked up Arakalkum. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. Um cool. Offering seems very good. Offering seems very good. Uh coffee dripper is kind of free. Could transform double strike perfected strike. I'm gonna be taking mark of pain, I don't think. I'd rather just have a coffee dripper. I like Metallic's eyes a lot. It does the thing it says it does. <laughs> it does its best. Are there those situations where you can take Mark of Pain? You have a bottle to evolve, it's pretty good. You have a lot of card draw and need energy really badly. You can take it. I think it's more about having a lot of card draw and needing energy than it is about the wounds. You can find synergies with the wounds, but I think people overestimate how much of the equation, whether you have synergies with the wounds or not, is. I do not have tons of card draw here. I have um, like one offering and that's kind of it. Other than the Evolve. Not enough emphasis on how bad it is to have wounds. It's not that it's like bad to have wounds, it's that it's bad to not be able to draw good cards to play. Slay the Spire canonic enough that we can see games are Spire-like. Ah, uh, do you understand what it means if somebody says a game is Spire-like? I don't think we're taking common attacks right now. Peach Buddy would be cute here. I'm sure it would. I guess I want to play Finesse. Call it worth. Let's just get 
get out of this fight. Uh, definitely asking for a lot from Meat on the Bone right now. I don't really have AoE damage, so the Combust is interesting. Let's make Blood for a Blood. Cost zero, but faster sometimes. I also don't really have any card draw and don't really have that much sustain. I mean, I gain 18 health per fight. That's kind of a lot of sustain. I can't rest at campfires, though. I think I'll take out. Yeah, because it's kind of good. So was card removed though. There's a cat on my couch. There is a cat on my couch. Oh god. Having a finesse in the deck already makes Abacus a little bit less exciting, I guess. Haskellus, thanks for the 32 months! The infinite breaks with corruption still, too. Double tap and finesse both break. I'm just gonna card remove. I kinda hate it, though. What true grip? I don't draw enough cards. I think I kind of need a burning pact. Maybe I take a true grip anyway, just so I can be champ, guaranteed. I think this deck will be champ though. I don't think I need that. I have shuriken too, huh? I don't have a feud yet. I could ritual dagger instead. Sure. Ritual Dagger or Double Tap could do some things. Silly if her taking a combust. Seven. Right. Yeah, okay. You know, math. Right, sure, okay. <laughs> Ceramic fish now exists. I'm gonna go for another elite. Bring about combust upgrade, offering upgrade, double tap upgrade, disarm upgrade. Disarm upgrade against book of stabbing is kind of nice. Against champ, it's pretty good too. 
I'm good against Gremlin Leader. Let's go for it. Is there a more mediocre relic than a ceramic fish? I don't know. Trajan Align. Thanks for the eight months. Appreciate it. I don't want to play this. I'm just not going to play it. <laughs> the sneakiest 1 HP that I've ever saved. Alright, cool. I think an uppercut. Kind of needs to be upgraded, but I could take it. I would rather have a shockwave, but I'm not being offered one. I think... Um, there are a lot of things I can upgrade usefully right now. I think I'm just going to not go for that at the moment. Sundial. Okay. I'll pick up a sundial. I wouldn't super hate going to this shop, but I have a mall bank. And it would be nice to get another card remove out of that this run by not going to a shop until next act. The question is... Can I, like, do these two elite fights? Can I go this way? Am I dead? I think I go here to start, and we decide based on this fight. You know, I didn't even consider that I had a lethal there, but I do. I could have waited. Okay, Pommel Strike. Well, now upgrading Pommel Strike is actually really good. With Sundial already. But... This is also pretty decent. I could die to Slaver. 24 damage Ritual Dagger. Hemokinesis at 20. Blood for Blood at 22. It's not impossible to die slavers, but it's really hard. I think I'm good to go for it. Just assume everything in Act 2 will kill you. So you're never surprised when you die in Act 2. Probably never surprised of anything. Make off free 33. Get out of here. Rage. Don't really need that, do I? Doesn't feel like my deck's got enough attacks or card drawn it to care about a rage right now. Well, it isn't slavers. Sometimes you get to act three and that's a surprise. I'm sorry. Can I kill this next turn? I guess I have Captain's Wheel, so I actually kind of don't. <sighs> Do 
It would be nice if Ritual Dagger dealt a bit more damage, right? There's a decent chance that I can do the thing. I cannot do the thing. Feels bad. Sundial on two. Botteled Flame. There's an Immolate. It's a lot more attractive than the Combust. I think I'm probably at a point where I don't take it, though. Probably. Do you have an Evolve Plus as well? I've gotten some bad Act here, Alex. Other than the Sundial. could bottle pummel strike with the intention to upgrade it. I don't hate that. Might be better than skipping. Die to the heart if you never make it past Act 2. That is very large brained. The largest brain. Flame, Maw Bank, The Boot, Ceramic Fish, and Darkstone, Periapt, Assemble, Exodia. It'd be kind of cool if they did. Sounds good to me. Probably not the best turn one. Probably not the best turn two either. <laughs> Good grief. Centennial Puzzle. I wish I could bottle Hemokinesis retroactively. Oh well. Another Combust? Nope. Headbutt? Nope. Havoc? Havoc? Havoc's slightly better with Pommel Strike 
bottled, actually, because Almost Strike is one of the cards I don't want to hit with Havoc. I could see this being Havoc. I don't have much synergy with it other than Sundial. But Sundial is synergy with it. Hey, Sealmates Club, how are you? Had sort of Exodia with Necra, Namicon, Curse, and a Blue Candle and Rupture. Yep. That's a really strong combo. Kavik to guarantee Frozen Eye. Didn't I see Frozen Eye already? I feel like I've already seen that today. Maybe it was yesterday. I'm not very good at blocking. Like I'm I'm good enough. I have been good enough for a while, but I'm fighting champ. Not good enough at blocking for the champ fight. I think everything Havoc can hit here is fine. Great, I got worse. Arm, I think, is better than Metallicize. Does Double Tap work with Dagger the way I want? So I don't have that anymore. Only have 35 health. I don't really want to hit double tap, but I think I play this anyway. Oh. Don't have pommel strike. Thank you. Vitella. about this shop. My upgrade. My potion. Clearly I'm trying to kill this uh, in two turns from here. Describe myself as unimpressed. Is it like hemokinesis now? I'm at 22. Yeah, I guess it's fine.
Yeesh. Should I put a stack on Sundial? Oh well. Another offering? I have to worry about my health. I think offering is a bit too good not to take. Feels like a runic cube. Any plans for another hour I stream? It was 10 hours. Have some respect for my art. It's really not a burning pact. People are things for 35 months. It doesn't work the way that you want it to. I'm taking damage at end of turn. Or drawing cards off taking damage at end of turn or whatever. Bust is one of the few things in the game that doesn't work the way that you want it to. Because if you want to discard a card, sure. Sure, fair enough. with Sundial in a way. I suppose it might. those runs where I just like get to the end of an ironclad run and don't have a way to draw a card yet and then I die. Everybody's favorite type of ironclad run. Searing blow evolving monkey. Mm. 
Got a strength. Probably meant to take anger. Have a starting strength in the shuriken still. I think reckless charge with a wolf plus, I guess. Maybe I like that more. Yeah, it's burning fact. Flower or not flower? I do immediately go to another shop. Wish I could rest. Decent chance I lose this run to Coffee Dripper. Havoc upgrade feels good. Couldn't buy an Abacus. Fuck if I know. Why not aiming to set up infinite with true grip? I have a fiend fire, a havoc, and a burning pack. I take triggered as a block card though. Which is really concerning. <laughs> it's not a good enough block card. <laughs> Thorgat, thanks for the 52 months. Upgrade finesse. Upgrade finesse, upgrade havoc, upgrade. Those are the big ones, I think. to upgrade and defend. 
kind of close to having to upgrade a defend. A lot of stuff that can solve that for me, though. And I can just upgrade a defend if I have to. Yes. How am I prioritizing upgrades? I'm thinking about the like 40 to 50 turns left in the game. I'm trying to make it so that my deck doesn't die on them. Kinda of difficult. Still need a week. about time eater. Do you not distill? God, how I can hit in fire now. <laughs> That's not great. I should just drink this last turn, probably. I'm always going to have to be right. I wonder if I was meant to kill this this turn. If I was meant to bash it last turn. I'll just go for a kill on it this turn. I should be thinking, probably, instead of just clicking random cards. I'm not quite clicking random cards, but you know. Didn't find Fiendfire yet. Find fiend fire. Plants of play defect today. Oh. Just play them in order.
Okay. Oh good, I got the boot. The very thing that I needed. I feel like the run was like going okay up until here, and then like I don't I don't know what the fuck these are. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly I haven't quite solved my problems with them there. when you joined. Thank you. So right path kills me some of the time. Possibly too much of the time. Left path. Oh, if I survive Donu Daka, I probably survive a weekend one, but I don't see myself surviving time meter. I don't really have an upgrade. I think we I think we just kinda have to go for it. I should be able to beat giant hub. Better to just fiend fire. Did a no thought there. Nice. I think I take a rupture plus. Or I could take a rage. Whoa! The rage is really good, actually. I run to the bathroom. Give this one some thought. Thank you for 15 months, Polaris. I guess just rage. Seems like it's just rage. Time Eater is gonna be fucking sketchy. Hopefully I just don't fight Time Eater. That seems like a reasonable solution to my issue. This looks like it kills you all. Maybe I got a Ritual Dagger too. Is that worth? Oh, I can just strike ritual dagger. Oh, that's definitely worth. Very cool. Good fight. Suddenly, kind of healthy. Explosion. Explosion limit break. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, maybe. Oh, 
possible. I sure haven't actually gone infinite a single time this run. Why haven't I switched to Slay the Relics Reborn? Because I'm busy playing Slay the Spire. Is it going out water Waterloo? I take Warcry if I don't take Limit Break. Warcry is good with Havoc. <laughs> the fuck, Zora? I know what Slay the Relics Reborn is lurking for. A minute. It's a passage of time in which one person uh, is able to go through their life, and you're currently wasting my minutes. Locking in the pond, thanks for the 14 months! And the reason that I have not changed which mods I am using on my channel is that I do not have enough of them to begin with before you are wasting them. I should get an unlimited minutes plan, it's a great idea. A great idea. The Warcry Havoc thing is kinda nice. It's not like I have a demon farm though. It doesn't really actually do that much. I wish I had a shockwave. How many times have I said that this round? A lot of times. What was my final ruling on Hello Eraser? I was sponsored to play it. <laughs> I don't think it's super ethical for me to <laughs> give game reviews on things that I have been paid to play. Why didn't I take Rupture? Because I took Rage. The question is, can I beat Time Eater with this? If I can beat Time Eater with this, I think I just take Warcry. Flex Spot's actually pretty good against Time Eater, even without the Limit Break. Warcry is pretty good against Time Eater, if I'm trying to beat Time oh, I'm just gonna take Warcry. Ooh, it's this one again. <sighs> At this point, I am using regen pump. I'm trying to stay above half health here. I don't think so. Did I use flex potion next turn? Really? <laughs> okay. Well, now there's much less downside to just using the regen potion. Yes, flex potion also got a lot worse when I drew a hand with no attacks on it. You are right. Be nice to put Evolve Plus in play. Pretty much all the hits on Ritual Dagger seem fine. Did not put Evolve in play. I think I'm keeping my potion still.
Why did I take a reckless charge? Cards like super good here. Have mercy, up the man, sir. Maybe I was meant to, yeah, do that slightly differently. Plausible. Man, I didn't like. I didn't fail to try to get usable relics here. <laughs> no one can say I didn't try. Let's take an uppercut. I already have the boot. The next relic can't be the boot. I have to do it. <laughs> um, I mean, full heal's not bad, but I think I have to take the relic. What if I died a guardian here? Scary. Only if you don't want to die to Guardian. If you want to die to Guardian, that was actually kind of sweet. Healing Guinea Genie. Interact with thorns. Don't remember right now. I could completely destroy one color in the world. Which one would I pick? Oh, I don't want to destroy colors. Colors are so wonderful. goes first. Ooh, a lizard tail. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a thing, kind of. I kind of found a thing. 
I take an upgraded flame barrier. I don't think I take an unupgraded one. That rage has to do a lot of work. You're out. This arm has to do a very large amount. Uppercut has to do a very large amount. Everything has to do a very large amount. <laughs> Maybe they will. I wish I didn't take the combust. Taking combust might lose me this round. machine things at 13 months. Have you ever been headbutted before? That is a that is a good counter argument. I don't think I have been headbutted. Not sure I intend to change that anytime soon. A weak push on another disarm. Huh. Huh. Okay. Suddenly this feels doable. Suddenly feels doable. I should avoid playing in soccer World Cup finals against Zidane. Thanks. Thanks for the tip there. I don't think that was um, high on my list of concerns. But definitely uh, something I will keep in mind now. Give some shields and put dazes in your deck. And then give some strength. And decide which one of those is worse in the run that I'm playing. There's also like which turn are you going to kill the first one on? You probably want to kill the one that's attacking that turn, ideally. Man, this deck's worse than I thought. I don't understand how that's possible. Um,
they got there. Out the deck has an infinite in it. All right, cool. Enjoying it, my name is Bebop. I assume I'm not using Lizard Tail this turn. Doesn't feel like I should be using Lizard Tail this turn. Play four cards. <sighs> so it goes to minus one strength, which means five times three weakens to wait a second. What? Oh, it's 8 times 3 normally, right? Minus 1, 7 times 3, we can step 5 times 3. Which unfortunately kills me if I don't block at all, and I can't block at all. Well, it kind of kills me. Flex potion gives me a 5 health. I guess that's the line. I 
I don't have to do that. I think there's... There's enough chance that I kill here for me to do it. turn to block all. Yeah, that's really cool. I've played the game for longer than like 30 minutes like you or whatever, so I think about like, you know, after you play one turn, there's like a different turn after it, right? Which is like, I don't know. I don't. Anyway, good chat. Shit. I have to like double tap ritual dagger and play another attack, right? Boom. Actually, I didn't even need to play another attack. So I still have Lizard Tail and I can buy new two, two new potions. Wait, do I need to play another attack? I do. Fucking boom. Played the game for 45 minutes already? Nice. It's gonna be so exciting when you press on turn and find out what happens. All right, my upgrade is Rage. I think that's pretty obvious. Weak potion came back. I like the Elixir, but I also kind of like the Dark Shackle. I also take Prismatic Shard. Now it's gotta be elixir, I think. I wonder if I want a flame barrier. With double disarm, the deck's actually pretty fast. The heart is easier to kill, kind of, because of runic cube. I wonder if I want Seeing Red. Can't afford it. Doesn't really matter. You're surprised I didn't get Pendib lined up last fight. Me too. I'll think about a Rendelza maybe after streaming, yeah. It's really hard to play a card here. I can play Humo, but it just draws me a card anyway. I'm just gonna do this.
Randomly targeted attacks do not turn you around. I really thought this hand would be better than this. Oh my god, I can double tap the fiend fire. I don't know why I thought this hand would be better than this. Disappointing. There isn't really any help either, is there? I guess I knew I was drawing rage and I just figured I'd draw the other attacks too. Which I guess eventually I do. Love that. Yeah, if I get Reckless Charge before offering, I get to draw extra, don't I? That was probably the reason I felt like my hand was better than it ended up being. I've ever had a run where Runic Cube was good. All you have to do is like take a bunch of damage. And need the card draw, I don't know. It happens. It comes up. Alright, one fight left. I think it's Burning Pact over Reaper. Just don't have any strength for Reaper. Hair is a game breaker. Unironically, uh, really nice pick up. 15 health. I think this is nowhere near as difficult as it looks like it is. Like the other fights have been really hard, I don't think this fight's actually that hard now that we're here. 
But I might be wrong, we'll see. Plenty of time for me to find out that I'm wrong still. That shit, do I? I'm good. I want a daze on my dock. Not that much. of dropkick, I guess. I play disarm first, and that way I have a different card to get rid of. This one feels a bit better to get rid of. Ooh, I needed a Warcry too. I guess Warcry doesn't actually work because of Beat of Death. Okay. And click the link regarding Beneath the Resound. It seems to be broken. Unlucky? Play Fiend Fire and I won. doesn't hurt though. Alright. I ended up being very fast. Two more links about a book, and they're broken too. Is the internet broken? Maybe the internet's broken. Maybe your internet in particular is broken. Oh, that run was a lot. There were a lot of decisions. I don't know about the combust. The combust was definitely, like, borderline. It was very close to being comfortable in the AoE fights in Act 2, just without it. And with the way the run even played out, I didn't need it in those fights, so... Bitly is slow. Mm -mm. Isn't dropkick a bit faster here than finesse? Oh. 
My goal is not to beat the game as quickly as possible. I'm glad that chat was here to help with the difficult decisions. Yes, I could not have could not have won without you pointing out that six plus three was nine. Not on a 15 turn timer. Almost though. Right. It wasn't fucking message like have a fucking wizard there. It's so weird because like there are other games which I genuinely have no idea what's going on in and people don't backseat as much in them as they do when I play Slay the Spire, the game that I have played. Let's take a look. 8,335 hours of. Like when I play other games people are like quiet little angels and then I play Slay the Spire and people are like 6 plus 3 is 9 Jorbs! I got backseat a lot on Brotato. That's true. That's true. I did get backseat a lot of Brotato. I'm like, those things with 28 months. Ugh. 